channel. I'm starting a new project and I wanted incentive to finish it. Because I have like a month to make it, which is a lot of time. But I'm really good at procrastinating. Like, right now, I'm procrastinating by filming this. Kimberly! <laughs> anyway. I'm here, I'm starting a new project, um, and I have like a month to finish it, but I really want to actually get it done. Basically, I'm making a crochet bucket hat for my sister-in-law. Um, her and her husband are coming into town in like a month. Maybe a little less than a month, like three weeks. Like, I have time, but I also know how badly I procrastinate, so hopefully this will help me and I really just want to make a craft video. I already made her this little froggy boy. Wow, you are furry. He's got a lot of ponyo fur on him. Anyway, um, I'm making her a bucket hat. Kind of like this one. I made this like a month ago. Um, it's granny squares, it's little daisies are in little green and gray squares, and it's stitched together in white. Pretty sure the top is in daisy as well. I don't remember, and I did not just look at it. So I don't know, I think it's a daisy square, just worked in a circle. And then there's this adorable white frill rim. So I'm very excited to make this again. I hope it works. I did have a pattern for the granny squares that I will link below in Ribbler. I did in Maria. I think that pattern got taken down, but I did write it down, so I put that right here. Sorry to the original creator. I don't know who you are. And I think by the time this films, I will have a pattern published on Ribbler. Maybe go check that out, maybe? Yeah, uh, I used the granny square pattern, but then I kind of just threw it together. I didn't even know what I was making when I first started. I was just making a bunch of granny square squares, and then I was like, what am I doing? And then I was like, bucket hat, because they're smaller granny squares than normal ones. They're only like two and a half inches. Each side is only like two and a half inches. <coughs> But yeah, there's smaller granny squares than, like, normal granny squares. So, I thought it would make a perfect bucket hat. And look, it did. I love this bucket hat, and I'm kind of sad it's getting warmer, because it's honestly a nice bucket hat. Like, I was really good at having it for a because it's, like, ears, and it's nice, but then it's not, like, too hot where I have to, like, take it off when I go inside. I love this bucket hat. I'm excited to make another one. I hope it turns out. She does have a smaller head than me. I have a very large head, and I think she has a small head. She said her favorite colors have been green and pink. So, I got this pink. Look at this. It's so cute. It's so soft. I got this at a used craft store. A craft thrift store in town. Or I got this a zipper from elastic and a dress pattern. And it was all together $2. So, this ball of yarn was less than $2. And it's so nice. It smells a little bit weird. A little like a thrift store. But like... It's real nice. I'm very excited to use this. It's really soft great sensory. I also have this green. It's the same one that I used for my hat. It's a nice like sagey like green. I love this yarn. I wish I looked better in this color because I love this color. And then since I needed 10 granny squares around to like make it fit my head but she will only need nine. So that is not divisible by two so it would not line up. So I'm going to use this gray still, which I also used, I'm going to use this as well and then have three colors alternating the squares. I will still be making daisies with this yellow yarn is the center and then this white yarn to hold it together and do the rim probably. We'll see. This is the only one to tie, this is the only one I know what it is. This is I love this yarn, I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's very soft. It is 100% acrylic. 
I wouldn't say it's my favorite yarn brand, just because, again, it's really soft, but I feel like it splits more than other yarns. Looks like maybe user error, because, like, I'm not that good at crocheting. My technique is definitely not great, but not my favorite yarn to use. So yeah, my yarn. Here it is. Peep my my cow background. Let's get going. square in each color I just don't know I don't know how well they go together I feel like any two colors go together fine but then there's three and it's not as good I don't know I really don't know do I find another color like besides the gray I could find another color <laughs> So it's been a few days. Sam is watching a Bob Dylan documentary. Sorry if you can hear that. Look at Skimmy. Hi, where you good boy? So it's been a few days. I have not worked on the hat. I instead started working on a sweater because I want to wear this for family pictures. So for this hat, I was going through some options, so I knew that we needed pink and green. But then, I was going to do gray, because we needed three, but I just wasn't loving this whole vibe. This felt really dark, and Ali agreed. So I said, no gray, but we still need three colors to make it work. So I thought, maybe a yellow, and then that was kind of gross. This wasn't the vibe I was going for either, so then... We settled on this. So we have pink, green, and this nice little tan color. And this felt right. This felt good. However, the problem is I then used that tan um, to make this sweater, which I have. I have one piece of it done. The back panel of this sweater done. So, you know, it's like a fourth done. I used all but this much <laughs> of that yarn, of the tan yarn. I still, how much blue do I have? still have quite a bit of blue. 
but this is not gonna work. Gonna need to figure something out for that. But we have our colors, and I think we have we have two of each. I think I did the math, and I need three times three times two. 18. I need 18 total. So I need six of each, and I have two. So I'm gonna see how much I can make with this. And I'm gonna focus on these for a while since I'm done with one panel and at a good stopping point because I have been working on that. That little piece, this piece. Look at him. He's a little cutie. Oh. Gimli, you're so cute. Anyway, okay, we're gonna focus this yarn on the granny squares and we're gonna, we're gonna see how far we can make it. Wish me luck, it's gonna be interesting. I got now four of these and I still have yarn left, so I hope that will be enough. I got some tea, but I also got this for my fifth one of those tan flowers. I'm gonna try to get those done. Hot. I will finish these six tonight. I did it. We have six and we still have this much tan yarn left. Hi, Ponyo. How are you? Little squishy boy. Gimli. Over here. Oh, that's a not a flattering angle. Sorry, buddy. This tea is not, it's not great. However, that's fine because now I'm done with my tan granny squares. And I can go to bed. And it's only like 10. I keep noticing this toad row is in the back of my shots. And as of like right now when I'm filming it, I have not released the pattern yet. And I've been saying I have. I've been saying that I will be releasing it for like three weeks. And it is still unreleased at this moment. But I've been hiding it in my videos and like pushing it further and further out of the background. So this, knowing that it is on film here is gonna make me actually release the pattern before I release this. So, I'll either do both or neither, we will see. So I got all those little squares, and now I have to sew it all together. Gimli, what do you want? What do you want? some stuff done yesterday I finished all the granny squares like I showed you and then I laid them out and now I am working oh I laid them out and I sewed them all together in a big line and then I'm gonna go and do like the up and downs and then I will sew it together don't mind Ponyo he's having allergies I'm gonna be honest it is like 70 degrees outside and I kind of hate it. Like, I went outside and felt like I was melting. And I feel like I'm dying now. So I'm gonna drink my fake pink drink. And crochet. And think nice, cool thoughts. Maybe take off this sweater. Because Ponyo and I, we are not fans of the springtime over here. Is that right, Ponyo? He's like, leave me out of this. So yes. But we're gonna work across all these. I also just went to the yard store. Don't look at that. I spent too much money. But we are getting this done.
three done. That's two more than last time. I have a bit of a headache and a bit of a tummy ache. The mango juice I used in this may have been bad. <laughs> Gonna keep sewing. Gotta get this done. I also, though, in this bag right there. Look, it's Ponyo's ears. If you know Ponyo, his ears are the best. In this bag that I got from the yarn store, there is more of this tan color, not for this hat, but for a sweater that I am making. When I get really sick of it, I will move on and work on that instead. Voiceover time because I wasn't talking with these clips, but here I'm still sewing this together at my in-laws, and here is Ponyo. Look at his little fluffy ears because he's just the cutest boy that there ever was. And here's Sam. He's pretty cute too, but he's playing Beat Sabers and look at him go. Wow. Now it is all sewn together and I'm weaving the ends in. There's a lot. And there's Allie. She's who it's for. Hi. And more Ponyo just for good measure because he's really cute and he's the goodest little boy. Look at that little face. Oh, I just love him so much. So I used the same flower granny square method for the top and then I sewed it all together and it looked so cute. Here it is. It is done. Just in time. We are going to see Ali for one more time tonight. Do you like it? Is it good? I don't super know about the colors still. I don't know. I feel like it would have been better without the tan. But I definitely like it. It's very cute. Let's do a side by side. Hold on. I guess I only have one head. So it can't be a true side by side. But there's this. Pink, green, tan, some white. Green and gray and white. What do you think? I don't know what else to say. I slept horribly last night, so I have zero thoughts in my head, but I finished it. Finished the rim. I think it's very, very cute. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see from me. Any other projects that you would like documented? Follow me on Instagram, Maria Makes Makes. Subscribe on YouTube. Like, comment, share with your friends. Go find my Ribbler shop, Maria Makes Makes. Let me know if you want a pattern for this. It's kind of, it's just tedious. It's not hard, but if you want to learn to make a hat like this, let me know, and I can be of assistance. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.